Hello Internet. I'm here to show you my testing process for a small brushless alternator that um, is available at inexpensively on the Internet. Uh, these motors are commonly called hoverboard motors and uh, one of the unusual things about them is they have a 27 coil pole count um, and 30 magnets which uh, is an unusual ratio. Anyway so I'm also going to show you my studio testing space a little bit uh, and talk about the kinds of things that I do and probably at the end of it talk a little bit about my turbine um, and uh, off we go. Thanks. Uh, more to come. So this is the kind of motor that I'm testing. This is, uh, they're commonly called hoverboard motors uh, and you can get them for between 30 and 70 bucks uh, on eBay. Um, I've heard you can get them cheaper sometimes. Um, uh, I got these four for 120 uh, or 130 something like that. So uh, yeah, and then these controllers, um, these controllers you can get for another 15 bucks or so. So these are rated at 350 watts um, and uh, very high torque little motors um, and so seem perfect for wind turbine projects and maybe uh, with a bit of tweaking even vertical access wind turbine projects which um, are have an extra difficulty in that they require very low speed high torque alternators um, lower than conventional wind turbines um, so what I've done is I got one hooked up there to this weight with a string wrapped around the drum this is this low stretch cord uh, the whole thing is held up there by screws and clamps uh, um, and there's even a safety line going around the motor um, and so when I release the weight it drops to the floor there's the little pad which is supposed to be down on the floor um, and I've got a variety of weights that I put in the, the bucket um, and so the power coming out of the alternator goes through these coil these these wires right um, and uh, and then I've got this bit of a Franken box uh, which is really just a seal box that I've screwed a bunch of different elements to and and attachments to just to keep them all in one place um, and so by rearranging the wiring of this I can get uh, loads from about a hundred ohms uh, um, at very high wattage uh, or very high currents sorry um, down to uh, one or two so it's just a, a handy load bank and so uh, I won't try to bury the load while it's falling I just set the load uh, let it fall and uh, and so that's all recorded over here these two probes uh, one obviously current one voltage uh, they are read by this little box and USB into my old laptop um, and uh, at this point I, I have the sampling set at about 5,000 samples per second so it produces a, a pretty accurate uh, uh, what's the right word um, uh, oscilloscope like uh, model and I can re-graph it in all kinds of ways and this data logging software uh, is um, um, very handy in all this let's fire it up there we are recording ladder unhooking and it's dropped pretty fast trip all the way down there's the generated power so you can see the red and the green so right so we see in run uh, um, nine here we got around 20 volts at um, around two amps uh, which gives us around 40 watts. 
So there we go, getting up into the right ranges. So thanks for watching. Uh, tune in if you want to see more about these really interesting um, little motors. Um, you can see in this one, I've machined off the uh, other side of the rim. So this will press into something uh, just with the shaft like that. Press in like that. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Internet. Live long and prosper.